welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Come us back. <laughs> So in today's video, I'm gonna be repainting this guy here. I'm gonna be doing a thrift flip on this guy here. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. It's an online community of creative looking to learn something new. They have classes that range from animation, illustration, graphic design, and so much more. If you're looking for ways to entertain yourself while you're at home or on the go, why not learn a new skill with Skillshare? Their videos are formatted in shorter lessons so you can go in and out at your own convenience. So now that schools are online for the semesters, I've been looking at Skillshare videos to help me further my knowledge in using Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign, which are the main programs I use as a graphic design student. I have been watching Daniel Scott's video on Photoshop. He's an actual Adobe certified trainer and this course is an 8 hour long one and I have actually been enjoying it. I'm still not done with the course yet, but it has been super informative. He takes you through the process of setting up your Adobe preferences, how to create layers, how to remove a background, and even how to mask, and there's so much more. So if this is something that interests you, why not get started with Skillshare? Skillshare is pretty affordable with the annual plan being less than $10 a month, and the first 500 people to click my link in the description get two months for free. So. Big thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. This is what he looks like. We're gonna be making him look cute. He was $3.99. So we're gonna be using the Arteza um, acrylic paint. There will be a full review on another video in the future. So look out for that. I want him to be pink, cause pigs are pink. But instead of going with this pink color, this pink is a bit too bright. Mm -hmm. I want to do like a red, add some purple in there. And white. To tone it down. Where's my white? White, white pink, white pink. Oh, here it is. <coughs> and I will just have a mix in palette right here. We have this big old brush. A little bit of red. Actually, a lot since we're going to need a lot of paint. Lots and lots of white. Why didn't you? And just a tad bit of. Purple. There's a lot. It's fine. Girl, how are you gonna tell me it's fine? Let me mix it. Okay, you mix that one. Get a smaller brush. And then we're gonna mix, 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 mix. I feel like this is too red. It's Two of us fine. can't paint, Kumba. This is so weird. Like, look, this is not gonna work. Kumba! Put it in the middle. Oh, no! Just well, let me paint him. Okay, so here's his face. So we're gonna start painting. I should have sanded him down so he could How? be like uh, with sandpaper. <laughs> You're annoying. literally so thick. <laughs> so inappropriate. <laughs> Oh no! Uh -oh. oh, he's sick. <laughs> that is so cute. Let me. You guys, he literally set up like that. That is. So you can paint the bottom, right? Can you make the TikTok where he's backing it up? I made the paint a little bit lighter it's just because this color is a bit darker than I wanted. Alright, so this is what he looks like so far. You can still see the little indent of his eyes. I do want to make his eyes way bigger. I should have taken this out. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck on there. Okay, I can take it out. Oh, oh no, it's kind of like peeling. I need to get this off. His original color is showing. Now I have to repaint this. I want to give him some blush. So I'm actually going to do that. And then I'm going to do some blush right here. Just like that. Just like all those cute little anime girls. It 
Here we go. He's blushing. Oh, he's so cute. I feel like this is a bit closer than that, so I could push it. Okay, so I'm gonna give him like darker spots. I kind of want to make it like a pinkish purple color. So I'm gonna pour some purple in there. I'm getting like a thinner brush and I'm gonna actually start around here, give him some spots. a big ass butthole <laughs> oh no wait his butt will be up here so this is fine it's fine it's fine okay <laughs> so everything is dried now I have a bit of paint on my hand this is what it's looking like and now we're gonna move on to his eyes. Um, I don't trust myself to make the eyes equally, so I did draw like a few eyes that I think will look good. I'm just trying to get the size to be the exact same. Okay, I think this is fine. I'm gonna start coloring in these eyeballs. So now I'm gonna add in more detail to his eyes. <laughs> oh, I feel like this looks so weird. Look at those beady eyes. <laughs> what if I use my Copic markers? Hopefully, so I can get like a more precise line. Great, is in. Well, there's that. <laughs> Lashes and fleek. I'm gonna put it on the inside of his ears. Oh Lord, I think I'm giving this one too much blush. Oh no, it's starting to look like a little clown. I'm gonna paint his tail that same pink color too. Oh no, it looks like a big pimple. <laughs> and it's like, blushing so much <laughs> what is happening i'm actually having a lot of fun here
<laughs> How freaking cute. This little thing fell out of the little stomach. So well, that's kind of cute though. Now I don't know what else I need to add to this. I feel like I'm done. This is what the pig turned out like. I'm actually really, really happy with it. I feel like I should have done more, but I don't want to overwork it. But yeah, that is Mr. or Mrs. Piggy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna put that little thing back on there. I am really happy with how this turned out. So that is pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know the video is a bit different from what I usually do, but I still hope you guys enjoyed how this turned out. <laughs> so that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.